This video is going to show how to add a new printer to Full Control Geco Designer. The settings on the main sheet uh, link to the printer, especially the start G code and the end G code. So these are the G codes that are copied up to the beginning and the very end of the G code file. So here we've got some names, and these are linked to the start G code and end G code sheets, which basically copy the, the values here and put them into the uh, G code file. We've also got the units of extrusion and our filament diameter, which might change for a, a given printer. And also after the start G code, the nozzle has a certain position and we need to tell the full control what position the nozzle is in after the uh, start G code with these values here. Um, and finally, the fan speed, which here is set to zero, will be set in the start G code as well. So this is some start G code for a CR10. And we can see it's got some general settings, then it's setting temperatures, some things about acceleration and so forth, printing some primer lines or extrusions, and then moving to the start of the print and actually printing it. So I'm going to copy everything up until the first line of printing. And that's going to be, I'm going to adjust that so it's a generic start G code file for a CR10. So first thing, I'll come to the start G code and a new column, I'm going to write CR10 in the first row, and that means we can call this uh, new start G code by writing CR10 here. So then if I paste that start G code here, these generic parameters, uh, or these parameters are currently for a specific print, but I need to make them generic. So I'm just going to leave them in because sometimes if you don't have these parameters for certain printers it can cause uh, issues with errors at the beginning so if you leave the, val leave the values in but set them to be nice and generic so the min values will be zero the maximum values will be the maximum for that printer so for a CR10 we're looking at the 300, 300 and 400 for X, Y and Z and then it's not created the G-code with Cura anymore. So we'll copy from the template G-code to say it's created with full control. And then I'm gonna add a little space before we start changing temperatures. So we need to change the temperatures, link them to the actual settings. We also need to change the set the fan speed to be linked to the settings. Uh, and full control uses relative extrusion. So we need to use an M83 command to get relative extrusion. So for the temperatures, these are currently just written as text. In the example, you can see that they're linked to the actual parameters bed temperature on the main sheet. So I'm gonna copy these across. M140 command to here, the M104 command, M109, and M190. So that means these values are parametrically linked to the settings. So if I change the bed temperature to be 50 and the print temperature to be 220, then in our start G code, you can see these have updated correctly. So after that, I'm going to leave these acceleration values as they are in jerk. Uh, and these two lines are quite good to include to reset the feed rate and flow rate in case they've been overridden in previous G-code. This uh, G-code to start priming the nozzle all looks fine. So you have a look through the G-code, make sure it's all looking good. This looks fine to me. And then after that, I can see that it's retracting a little bit, turning the fan on, moving to a start position and then unretracting. So I'm going to get rid of the retraction and unretraction and the movement because all I want to do is after we've gone to after we've printed the primer material, I'm just going to move a very short distance to x20, y10, and z0.3, um, and I'm choosing that value because that's what's currently set in the settings. So I'm going to put that here. We don't need these comments anymore. So those X20, Y10, Z0.3 are what I've got written here. We need to tell the printer uh, full control where the nozzle is after the G-code, uh, the start G-code, so that it knows when you start designing whether it needs to move the nozzle before the first feature. So now in the start G-code, there was two things left. First is the fan, linking that to the main sheet here. The fan speed is currently zero and also using relative extrusion. So I'm going to copy the fan speed from the template start g-code and also 
M83 for relative extrusion. I'm going to pop that in. Yeah. I'm also going to use a comment to say that it's the end of the start G code and a few cells beneath. I'm going to put a, a space character. Uh, and this means that when it copies the G code, it will include that cell and everything above it, which means we'll get a little bit of a break in the G code before or after the start G code. So I want to check that this <coughs> uh, fan is linked correctly to the settings. So if I change this fan speed to be 255, which will be maximum in the start G code, you can now see that the fan is set to 255. So this is uh, set up. It's linked to the bed temperature, the nozzle temperature. We've told the settings about the start G code ID, and it's also linked to the fan speed. And these are tailored for that start G code. So a couple of other things we need, feedstock filament diameter. For an auto maker, as I've got this previously set up for, we have 2.85, but now we're using 1.75. And also the units, auto makers use millimeters cubed by default whereas most printers use millimeters, that's for the value, the units of E in the G-code. So now that's fully set up um, to, to put this text at the beginning of the G-code file. I'm going to do a similar thing for end G-code. So if I go to my G-code file and go right to the bottom, I can see that it finishes the print here. And then for this line, it's actually retracting from an E value of 1148 to 1143, so uh, a minus five retraction. And then it's doing some, some movements of the nozzle. So I'm going to copy this into the end G code spreadsheet. I'm going to call this CR10 as well. copy the start of ng code line it's nice and clear and then as I said this is actually doing a retraction move in the G code because it's previously at 1148 and now it's setting the extrusion to be 1142 that's because it's using absolute extrusion so because we're using relative extrusion we don't want to set it to be 1143 or it'll try and pump out huge amounts of polymer we want to set it to be minus 5 the other commands are all looking fine There are no more extrusions related to absolute extrusion and it's basically just turning turning everything off. It is quite good to set it to absolute extrusion mode afterwards if that's the default that the printer uses. So now in my main sheet I can put CR10 here. And it will all be set up for our new printer. So if I click generate g-code, this is using the, the box demo and then if I open a new notepad, paste the g-code in, and I can then compare it to the original g-code and check that things are looking correct. So everything's fine here, we've obviously changed these numbers the temperatures are coming out fine. We've got our relative extrusion and our fan speed. We're moving to the start position, and then it's effectively and correctly starting the print. This is all looking very similar to the uh, initial file of G code that we were copying from. And then at the very end as well, you can see this is all the G code that was generated by full control G code designer for the box. And then at the end, we've got this start of NG code, a bit of retraction, and then moving the nozzle around and turning stuff off, all looking the same as this. So that's a new printer added for a CR10. And I know quite a lot of people have got Ender 3s, so you can actually use almost identical G code to this for an Ender 3. And if you just copy all that across, and then you just need to change the maximum height, in this case would be 220. The maximum X, sorry, would be 220. Same for Y. And then 215 for Z. All of the other settings are not 
specific to the CR10 as opposed to the Ender 3, so they're all still valid. And then for the NG code as well, you can copy this across and rename it as Ender 3. And as you look through this, there's only one line which is specific to the uh, print bed of the Ender 3 or CR10, and that's this one. All the other commands are in uh, relative coordinates and, and similar, whereas for this one we've returned to absolute position and it's saying go to Y300, which was the maximum build size of the CR10, but for the Ender 3 the maximum is 220. So now we've got our start G code for our Ender 3, and all we'd need to do is write Ender 3 here or here, uh, or both of those should now be printing on an Ender 3 instead of a CR10. So that's how you uh, add G-code. The most important thing is it must be in relative extrusion mode. So you need that M83 command uh, and make sure you change the feedstock diameter and the units to be the correct one for your printer.